Welcome to the fourth episode of Scriabin's Atonality, where we'll be investigating some of the most prominent large sets that are foundational to Scriabin's late-era harmony. The superset of a piece is the largest set in the piece in which all other sets are embedded, meaning only subsets of the superset are included in the composition. We'll discuss how Scriabin moves between mystic and octatonic sets, and we'll end with an overview of the supersets used in each work in his late era. Last episode, we learned about how Scriabin's octatonic hexachord is just like the mystic chord, with a lowered second scale degree. We can combine these two sets by including both pitches to get an important superset, 726. Let's check out how Scriabin gracefully switches between octatonic and mystic sets in his seventh sonata using set 726. During theme 1, Scriabin uses strictly octatonic sets, but in theme 2 he mixes in mystic subsets. We'll highlight octatonic sets in purple, mystic sets in orange, and sets that belong to both in green. understand this passage as using the fifth mode of 726A based off of G sharp. The addition of mystic sets in theme 2 allows for a consonant contrast to the harsh octatonic sets of theme 1. The same effect is achieved by starting with an octatonic primary motif and modifying it to a mystic version of the motif when it appears in the coda. Since the two sets are only one semitone away from each other, he sometimes substitutes octatonic sets with mystic sets to create contrast. I want to take a second to introduce the term cluster sets. Cluster sets are sets that have a cluster of two or more consecutive half steps. 726 is a cluster set because it contains the consecutive half steps C, C sharp, and D. Cluster sets are generally rare in music as the consecutive half steps are dissonant and difficult to voice as a chord. Scriabin gets around this difficulty by using 726 melodically rather than playing it simultaneously as a chord. It's often said that Prometheus is based off of the mystic chord. While it's true that the mystic chord is the largest chord played simultaneously in the work, in as early as the 10th measure we can see our 726 set, the cluster being A, B flat, and B. So does this mean that 726 is the actual superset of Prometheus? It is the superset for Sonata 7, but in Prometheus and some other works we come across an even larger superset, 827, also known as 8.2. We arrive at this set by adding a fifth to the 726 mode we were looking at, or by shifting any single pitch of the octatonic scale one semitone. It has so many subsets that this Haas diagram was needed to show all the connections between its subsets. Big thanks to Vornska for making these charts! The diagram shows 8.2's octatonic subsets on the left side and the mystic whole tonish sets on the right side. The complement of this set, which is the pitches not sounding, form the half diminished seventh chord set. Let's analyze the very end of Sonata 8 where we see a very similar melody to the one we analyzed in Prometheus in the same key with an added E giving us 8.2. Now, as promised, without claiming to be absolutely certain, here is a list of the supersets each late era Scriabin piece is based on. They are labeled as either being based on the mystic chord in orange, octatonic in purple, combined sets meaning 726 or 8.2 that we just discussed in green, and exceptions in brown meaning they are based on sets we haven't discussed yet which is the topic of the next video. Lastly, here is the Haas diagram showing all the most important integral sets we've discussed in this series in red, and the less prominent sets we've discussed in blue. 
What's your favorite superset that Scriabin uses? Let me know in the comments, join the Discord, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon.